guys just over a week away from practice. Uh, what uh, practice starting? What are kind of your expectations going into fall camp? Uh, I kind of have high expectations uh, for us going into fall camp, uh, but there's a lot of things that we need to see. Uh, there's a lot of position battles that are going to happen, uh, so it's just going to be a lot of excitement this fall camp. How about this experience of coming up to media day with the photo shoot yesterday and the stuff today? Uh, what kind of experience is that like for you and Cam? Uh, I think it's a nice experience. I mean, you get to kind of see the media side of everything, uh, how everything's kind of made. Um, but it's an experience. I mean, you get to see some people, meet some, um, and just dress up in full pads, and it makes me ready for the season, really. Being a, a redshirt junior and, and one of the veterans on this team now, it's kind of been around the block. Redshirt uh, senior, Richard I think. Redshirt senior, right? Uh, yeah. What, um, what are some of the things you're trying to do, I guess, to be a leader? Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to lead by experience, uh, more like just doing than kind of saying. But I will be there to correct people when they mess up. Uh, but more than more support, uh, since I've been there the longest, uh, seen the most. Uh, just try to like bring people along so they can get there faster in their time at CSU. How about year two versus year one with a, a new coaching staff? Is that is that helpful going in, kind of knowing maybe a little bit more what to expect? Uh, yeah, it does help a lot. Um, with year two happening, uh, everybody's going to be more comfortable with Coach Tuck and everybody, all the other new coaches. Um, so it's kind of exciting just to see everybody actually accept that offense and defense and get rolling. And then uh, obviously, you know, practice starts in a week, but you guys have been working all summer. Uh, what have you seen that encourages you that you guys can uh, you kind of get back to the competing for a championship? Uh, the mentality of the team is really positive, and we're very hungry. Uh, so everybody's working really hard, and Coach Scott's getting us right. Uh, so this season's going to be really good. And how about you individually? Obviously, you've had you know, a good deal of accolades in your career. It's your last go around. What are some of your goals personally? Uh, my goals are defense conference of the uh, defense player of the year uh, for sure. Um, all American uh, honors, uh, but after, but of course, I'd rather have a conference championship and just have a good, healthy year um, and just have fun with the guys since it's my last go around here at CSU. And what's the experience like coming up here uh, to media day and going through the photo shoot and all yesterday? I mean, it was a fun experience just being around um, a lot of the guys in the conference, getting to know them a little better. Um, the photo shoot was a little long, being in the past and everything, but overall just seeing how everything was planned out, it was a, a very fun experience. We just came from you diagramming uh, the money play. Uh, you don't think that's something you guys are going to dial up this year? Nah, Coach Tuck wouldn't allow that to go through, um, but I'm going to try to push it. Uh, you're, you're a redshirt junior this year, so obviously you've been around for a little bit. Um, what are some of the things you're trying to do uh, to improve individually and help the team improve as a unit? Man, my main focus is just helping the unit, um, just getting a lot of the young guys ready and making sure they're ready to play, um, making sure they're familiar with the playbook and everything, and just helping them get the flow of being in college. Obviously, uh, offensively, you guys had, had some struggles uh, last year. How do you think uh, you guys can be better and more consistent this season? Well, I think that um, – we just got to really, I think last year it was a lot of ups and downs. My downfall was just us trying to, you know, be too involved with the coach. And I think um, as players, we just have to allow them to do their job and um, put it, put everything in their hands and just believe in the system and what they have planned for us. Uh, London, you know, got a lot of time last year, a quarterback. He goes in this year as uh, kind of your clear cut starter. Uh, what kind of a rapport have you been able to develop with him? And, what do you expect to see out of him in the passing game this year? Well, I think um, he's been working a lot um, this summer. We've The receivers have been out every day catching footballs, and he's been the one um, passing to us along with the other quarterbacks. But I see a lot of improvement in him. He's ready to work, um, and we're ready to go to war for him. And then just the receiving core in general, uh, obviously it's an option-based offense, but you guys have some, some talented receivers, yourself certainly included. What's kind of some of your goals as a unit this year? To just uh, go out and help the team as much as we can, or uh, whether we have to block or um, receive the ball, um, it really doesn't matter. We're just trying to look. We're just looking to help the team.